crates. Assemble two crates together with hot glue. Small wood crates, two small floating shelves. Take the white paint for all four crates. Assemble two crates together with hot glue and then attach to the second shelf upside down with more hot glue. Take fairy lights and weave it through the holes of the wood crates. Attach the second level of the combined wood crates and do the same thing with the fairy lights. To cover up the seams, take rhinestone ribbon and glue into place. Take craft mirror tiles, cut them to size, hot glue into place, and then remove the protective cover. Next time you're at Dollar Tree, scoop up some of the white wire baskets and grab yourself a paper towel holder. Then I'm going to take the paper towel holder and place it on the bottom and then cut out the wire basket just in the middle. You're going to slide it over top and then you're going to secure it in place with some zip ties at the bottom. You're next going to take your second wire basket and cut out the middle. You're going to place it on your paper towel holder and then you're going to place some zip ties around the paper towel holder to give it a little bit of a ledge to sit on. Then you're going to come in with some E6000 and then you can spray paint it your favorite color. Head to your local Dollar Tree. Start by hot gluing the paper towel holder in the center of one pan. Hot glue rope starting from the outer edge and work your way in and work your way up the center of the paper towel holder until reaching the top. Take twine and baskets and wrap, tie, and secure them on either side of the paper towel holder center. Take the second round pan and pour marbles into it. Place the top pan and the baskets on top. I'm taking three hexagon decorative mirrors and four small glass candlesticks from Dollar Tree. Stack two candlesticks on top of one another. When the glue has dried, I'm taking some black acrylic craft paint, apply the paint all over each candlestick column. Once that column is attached to the base mirror, I'm adding glue to the top of the column before stacking another mirror on top of it in the center. While I'm taking my second candlestick column and my third mirror, I'm flipping the mirror face down and applying the glue to the column before placing it on the center of the back of the mirror. It's time to stack the third mirror onto the other two. You'll need four of these chrome napkin holders, a paper towel holder, a set of these plastic chopping boards. First thing is to trace the napkin holder onto the chopping board four times and then cut out the half circles. I'm attaching those pieces of the plastic chopping board to the side of the napkin holder. I'm going to take these napkin holders and glue them to the bottom of the paper towel holder. Attach two more toward the top of the paper towel holder. Once the glue is all dry, for a little added security, I'm going to use some zip ties. I'm using one large piece of foam core from Dollar Tree and two sheets of peel and stick wallpaper. Next, I'm going to use a squeegee to apply directly to the foam core board. I'm using two gold paper trays from Dollar Tree and my two wallpaper covered sheets of foam core to glue to the bottom of each tray. I'm applying the rub and buff all over the wood pieces. I'm allowing plenty of time for the gold to dry before taking my hot glue gun and gluing the cubes on either side of the wood dowels. Now it's time to assemble this whole project together. Take a clear adhesive hook from Dollar Tree and a paper towel holder. Add toilet paper rolls and you have easy and inexpensive toilet paper storage. Place scrunchies and hair ties over the top and you have an easy and cheap storage solution. Loop the zip ties around the paper towel stand evenly spaced and secure in place. Take scissors and cut off the excess of the zip tie. Use a mini hot glue gun to add little dots of hot glue to make sure the zip ties stay in place. Cover the entire stand with gold spray paint. We're gonna start with a baking pan and we're gonna fill it with a bunch of marbles. I need to remove the back off the glue dots and then peel off the backing. And I'm gonna place it onto the bottom of the baking sheet. I'm gonna flip them back over. As you can see here, this swivels really nicely. I'm gonna take a cooling rack. I'm gonna bend up either side. Now I'm gonna tip those cooling racks up and I'm going to tie the top of the cooling racks together as well as the bottom. I'm gonna place the glue dots onto the baking sheet. Take those cooling racks and I'm gonna stick them onto the glue dots. And I'm gonna press firmly to make sure they adhere well. To start this project, we're gonna need three of these cute little craft storage bins. I'm gonna use a pencil and we're gonna line it up. Let that bond for a second. So we're going to secure the other side with the glue and then we're gonna go back in with our, with our staple gun to make sure it's reinforced. And now that that's been reinforced, we're essentially gonna do the same thing with another one. We're gonna do the same thing for the third one. It's just gonna sit up a little bit higher. All right, so now that this has been secured, what we're gonna do is we're going to use 
some stain. Go to the dollar store and get eight of these mini trays. You're also going to need four of these little mini crates and start painting these. Glue one of these sides that has one of the holes, glue it to the back end of one of these pieces, and now we're going to go and create a U shape, and we're going to go and press this together. Construct the next one, glue everything together, wait for that to dry. After those are connected, put some glue onto the top, and now we're going to go and put these little tiny mini crates that have the slats on the sides, and let everything dry. And now we can go and put this into our kitchen and figure out where we're going to put everything. So we're gonna start with 12 of these really cute little crates from Dollar Tree. First, going to glue them together. So we are going to be using some wood stain. We are going to stain this as well. So we're gonna put this into a formation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and we are gonna put it on the center of our Lazy Susan. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up. So we're gonna start this project with these really handy uh, stackable organizer drawers. So I'm gonna be using a combination of E6000 and hot glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack this on top. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this top one. Set this aside to dry. We are going to focus on gluing these pieces together and we're gonna put it together here. Make sure it is level this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and add to it. I wanted to take a little side note to share that I was able to paint my mirrors because they originally were gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue on the back here, and we are going to be centering it on top. We're actually gonna be gluing these same mirrors to the sides where the drawers aren't pulling out. So now we're gonna take two cake pans, marbles as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this on top, and then we are going to put a layer of E6000, and then we're gonna be setting our organizer on top of that. Adhere it, wait for that to dry. So now we're gonna flip it over. And we have a Lazy Susan situation happening, but we're gonna add one more piece to the top of this. Head over to the dollar store and grab one of these plastic trays. Now we're going to go and open up our little picture frames. Now we can take everything outside to spray paint it. As that first layer dries, we can go and use some of this looking glass spray paint. Now we can put some glue onto the sides of these pans, stick them together. Now we're going to take five different dots of this glue, put it on the corners, one in the center, and we can start to go and put some things onto it. Let's head back over to the dollar store and grab some of this chalkboard paint. One of those paper towel holders. You're going to also need a plastic tray. We can go and flip over our plate. Now we're going to take some glue and put it on the back and stick our paper towel holder onto here. After it has dried, we can take this outside. I'm going to be using some of this looking glass spray again. I'm taking chalkboard paint and this is going to give it a lot of texture when I go over this with the second layer.